All right, play ball. And there are some stunning new documents now that reveal that the Obama administration has released tens of thousands of illegal immigrants who have criminal convictions. It's called catch and release, basically. According to the Homeland Security Department, immigration agents busted 68,000 illegal immigrants last year who had a previous record, but then let them go without any charges. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Lars Larson is also a syndicated radio host. And welcome to you both. So uh, about a Good third, morning. according to the, these, uh, these are documents that were released uh, from the department. So they, they culled through the numbers and determined that about a third of those who had been convicted of criminal acts were released, Leslie. Why, why would that be a good idea? Well, first of all, we have to look at the reality. 98% of those who are deported have criminal convictions. What are the specifics on these criminal convictions? We know they're not traffic uh, accidents right. or any kind of traffic citation. But in addition to that, we don't have that specific breakdown. And we also have to look at what the Department of Homeland Security allows ICE to do, the appropriations that are given from Congress, how many people they are allowed to deport, and, and that authority that is given to ICE, uh, they have to prioritize. And I think this is kind of like looking at the report card and saying, you have all these A's, what's up with this A minus? Yeah. I think that I the, the, the deporter in chief is putting so many criminals outside the country. And this is pretty much the same criteria with Homeland Security and ICE that's been practiced for 30 years. Yeah, but you know, the, the curious uh, piece of data to me is that the number of deportations has fallen, uh, is down 28% in 2013 since 2010. And I wonder, Lars, does that line up with a different philosophy in the administration uh, in terms of, you know, letting people stay? And some of them are not, you know, are, are criminals. Martha, it's not curious at all. This president's easy to figure out. And in fact, he is the releaser in chief. Just understand, this man's <laughs> been begging for amnesty. He has be been begging for amnesty since he came into office. He has an illegal alien aunt and uncle of his own in the United States. And I know Leslie oh, needs God. somebody to come mow her lawn. But the fact is, is that we can't oh, be releasing these lot. people. Think, think <laughs> about this. 12 million illegals in the country. The government manages to find 700,000 of them. Of those, only 190,000, about a third to a quarter, are actually charged. And then they cut 68,000 criminals loose. This is the president who has promised amnesty. So did President Bush. And public pressure kept both of them from doing it. This isn't something new for the releaser in chief. This let, is let, old Let's hat. take a look at this quote uh, from uh, Senator Sessions on this. And also, I would mention, John Boehner has said that the lack of enforcement is an obstacle to immigration reform. Here's uh, Senator Sessions. The evidence demonstrates that immigration enforcement in America has collapsed. Even those with criminal convictions are being released. Secretary Johnson must reject the president's demands to weaken enforcement further and tell him that it's his duty and his officer's duty to enforce the law, not to break it. I mean, Leslie, isn't that hard to argue with? I mean, if you're a legal citizen, you're not allowed to break the law. <laughs> how, do you, how do you justify that? Well, technically, 100% of any illegal immigrant has broken the law. Until we have immigration reform, that is going to be the case. But there's a big difference between a violent uh, person with a criminal record and a nonviolent non person with a criminal record. I think the reason that we see the reduction in those numbers of deportation is also because it correlates with the uh, reduction of numbers of illegal immigrants coming into the country when our economy uh, took a nosedive, quite frankly, a few years ago, and not as many corporations were hiring people uh, who were illegal immigrants. <laughs> Immigrants here in California, whether to pick grapes, etc. And Lars, I got somebody to mow my lawn. He's called a husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, you know, Martha, this is what I find Congratulations, Leslie. That's good. Le <laughs> Leslie, I mow my own lawn. But, but here's the thing. I, I, listen, I like Leslie a lot, but this is absurd. She says if we find the illegal alien, not immigrant, because no immigrant comes to this country intending to break the laws of the country. But if the illegal immigrant hits a little old lady over the head with a brick and takes her purse, Leslie is, is okay with deporting them. But if the same illegal alien no. steals uh, yes, the yes, identities actually. of a dozen Americans and then empties their bank accounts, mm -hmm. oh, that's nonviolent, so they can stick but around and be future citizens. But you're speculating. You're speculating, Lars. You don't know that. You don't know that. We're Illegal both speculating because we don't have the breakdown of all what the crimes they have committed. Guys, we got to go. Thank you very much, Lars and Leslie. Uh, good to Thanks, see you always. Martha.